Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, write the drawbacks of Rutherford's atomic model. How did Bohr remove them? Show that different orbits in Bohr's atom are not equally spaced. So the problem is based on the topic atomic models and in particular the Rutherford and Bohr atomic models. Now there are certain drawbacks corresponding to the Rutherford atomic model. According to this model, there is a charge which is moving in an accelerated manner. So here is the nucleus and around this nucleus the charges are moving in an accelerated manner. And uh, according to the electromagnetic theory when the charges are moving in the accelerated manner they continuously radiate some energy. They continue it in a continuous manner they are radiating some energy. And when they are radiating some energy then this particular energy of this charge goes down in a continuous manner. And when this energy is going down in the continuous manner, its path become a spiral path. And this particular charge carrier move up to the nucleus. It move up to the nucleus. But in actual, this is not the case. The charge carrier, which are electrons revolving around the nucleus, they never enters into the nucleus. So in this way, we can say that the other Ford atomic model has certain drawback. The second thing that this particular model could not explain is that uh, when the charge carrier is moving in this particular manner in a spiral path and continu continuously radiating some energy then uh, the spectra which we would get is the continuous spectra. In this case according to the Rutherford model the spectra is continuous in nature whereas uh, in actual case we get the line spectra. So in this way we can say that the Rutherford model has certain drawbacks. Bohr removed these particular drawbacks of the Rutherford model. According to Bohr's postulates, uh, there are certain orbits, there are certain orbits in which electron revolves and these are known as the stable orbits. And in these stable orbits, the electron do not radiate any energy, any kind of energy in the stable orbits. So the Bohr suggested those particular stable orbits. And uh, according to Bohr, the angular momentum of such orbits, the charge carrier having certain angular momentum and the angular momentum is the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. These are the stable orbits. For the stable orbits, the angular momentum of the charge carrier are the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. These are the stable orbits. And according to Bohr, when certain charge carrier, when it moves from one stable orbit to a lower energy orbit having a stable energy then in this particular process it emits a photon and the particular photon depends upon the energy level difference of these two particular orbits. So this is the Bohr postulate which he suggested for the improvement of the Rutherford atomic model. Now in the last part we have to show that the different orbits in Bohr's atom are not equally spaced. So for that particular concept we have to go with this formula Rn which is the nth resistance of the nth orbit is equal to n square by m into h upon 2 pi whole square into 4 pi epsilon naught upon e square. Now apart from this n all are the constant terms so we can say that the nth orbit radius is directly proportional to n square. So this is not a real linear relationship it is a quadratic or a square relationship. It means that the radius is not equally spaced for the consecutive orbits or we can say that different orbits in Bohr atom are not equally spaced. That's the main reason. So this is the explanation of this particular question. Hope you understand the explanation. Thank you.